Oh, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy DC coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to do a highly requested, you know, artist, which is gonna be YTB Fat. Okay, so if you guys do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We back to doing them vocal tutorials if you ain't nobody yet. All right, and down below, you know, give a comment. You feel me? You want to grab the preset? The link will be there. So let's get to it right now. I got real smoke in my city. Smoke, I'm in there. Kill my sister. It's life hard. Yeah, put on my back. My niggas, kids, put on my back. Friend rich as fuck, put on my back. Care all my niggas on my back. Load the push and can't go flat. So what's maybe that's I got real smoke in my city. Smoke, I'm in there. Kill my sister. Life hard. Yeah, put on my back. My niggas, kids, put on my back. Friend rich as fuck, put on. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put on my back, my niggas, kids, put on my back, free rich as fuck, put on my back, care all my niggas on my back, load it, push it, can't go. Yeah, so I noticed that with YTB Fats uh, vocal, you feel me, there's like a crackling type of thing here, his voice really reminds me of uh, Rice crispy when you put a little bit of milk in the motherfucker. So, yeah, that's the most thing. It's got a snack, crackle, and pop texture to it. So that's what we got to understand, too, is more than just the sound of his voice. There's also a crackle associated with it, and uh, auto-tune is helping that crackle. So I use Waves Tune because YTB's fat. His auto-tune sounds very natural. Uh, and I feel like the auto-tune is more like a tool just to throw a little bit of uh, bell peppers and seasoning on uh, the already good characteristics here of his voice, even which is the natural crackling. So these are auto-tune settings that we had. You know, the speed keeps it natural, but the note transition helps to crackle, all right? So after that, let's see what it sound like with and without the preset. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put on my back, my niggas, kids, put on my back, friend rich as fuck, put on my back, care all my niggas on my back, load the push, it can't go flat. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put on my back, my niggas, kids, put on my back, friend rich as fuck, put on my back, care all my, my niggas on my back, load the push, it can't go flat. So what's maybe that's I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put on my back, my niggas, kids, put on my back, friend rich as fuck, put on my back, care all my niggas on my back. Yeah, so you kind of hear that like his voice, it has this street texture to it, too. It's not all the way pretty and pristine and white picket fences and hello, neighbor. How are you doing today, buddy? No, it's that hood energy. It's that Black Air Force One energy, nigga. It's that you're going to get robbed energy. You feel me? You're talking about the streets. You feel me? And the streets have a certain emotional tone and a texture that needs to be present for the streets to engage with that shit or we don't like it. All right. Very first thing I have right here is this EQ. I noticed that like the mid range is in his voice is hollowed, and then it kind of gives a, a open door, a green light for the crackle to really shine out. So I located the crackle and I kind of, you know, just kind of scooped this a little bit out. You feel me? And uh, yeah. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put on my back, my niggas, kids, put on my back, friend rich as fuck, put on my back, care all my niggas. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put on my back, my niggas, kids, put on my back, friend rich. So just kind of by removing that low end, we find ourselves in a situation where we hear more of the vocal character, but we removed it in a proper way, and we know that we will, uh, you know, kind of bring it back a little bit later on. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put on my back, my niggas, kids, put on my back, friend rich as fuck, put on my back, care all my niggas on my back, load the push, it can't go flat, so what? So with a person like YTB fat type of vocal, you got to be precautious about the de because you got to understand all that cracking is already in the high mid. So when I put my de you see the how sometimes it might over trigger, you know, like it might go back to back to back. And we kind of don't want our de to do that. So that's why you kind of don't want to put all the work on the de just in general, but especially with a YTB fat vocal, because all that crackling and all that gnawing and all that like cat scratching on a, a, a the, you know, you feel me? Like on the fucking, you know. Um, you know, board, the, the scratching pole shit, all that stuff is going to overly trigger the DS, which is going to make the vocal kind of pump and feel weird. Okay, after that, I used the C6, and I kind of went after, you know, uh, the high end of the crackle, you feel me? Because the crackle kind of does, the auto-tune kind of makes the crackle a little bit annoying. You feel me? I love me some ri ri uh, Rice crispy snack crackle and pop treats. But uh, sometimes, you know, we got to kind of, you know, make a little bit of room in your stomach for that type of stuff like that, right? So I'm trying to make a little bit of room for the appetite of the listener by not bothering them in the fucking super high end, you know? I got real smoke in my city, smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put on my back, my niggas, kids, put on my back, 
real rich as fuck, put them on my back. Carry all my niggas on my back. Load the pussy, can't go free. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke. I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put them on my back. My niggas, kids, put them on my back. Friend rich as fuck, put them on my back. Carry all my niggas on my back. Load the pussy, can't go flat. All right, so you guys see what we're working with right there. After that, we have the Arvox. And the Arvox is bringing back in some of that low mid presence too, you know, that we we really started to hammer away in right here. So, you know, I might do a move like this, but I'm cognizant that, you know, down the line, I'm going to have to pay for it. You know, in life when they say like, you know, you fuck up, you got to pay for it later on another day. So I know if I did some crazy ass shit right here, kind of like a party, if I get drunk tonight, I got to deal with the hangover, hangover tomorrow. That's the punishment. So if I cut off a lot of mid range right here, I know I got to make up for it, right? If I know I got to make up for it um, by either doing saturation, compression, or maybe EQ, and I pick compression, I pick the Arvox because I know it's going to bring me my, my low back in there, you know, that I just took out. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put them on my back, my niggas, kids, put them on my back, friend rich as fuck, put them on my back, carry all my niggas on my back. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke, I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put on my back, my niggas, kids, put on my back, friend rich as fuck, put on my back, care all my niggas on my back, load the pussy, can't go flat. So what's maybe that's what all right, it's really dope. So you guys, you know, kind of get what's going on right there. After that, we have the wave soak vocal just to control that that mid-range because that mid-range kind of reminds me of Bowser, you know, with Mario and shit, how Bowser got them spikes on his back and, like, if Mario even touches that shit, it's going to hurt him. So, yeah, I don't want to hurt my listener, you feel me? The, all the spikiness of that crackling and shit like that in his voice, um, you know? I, I kind of want to just make sure that um, I'm about to boost it, so I kind of just want to pre-prep it. You feel me? You got to wash your vegetables before you, you know, cut them and cook them and eat them and stuff, you know? So I'm just pre-prepping this before it hits the API 2500, uh, the API 550, actually. Sorry. And yeah. I got real smoke in my city. It's smoke. I'm in there. Kill my sister. It's live hard. Yeah, put them on my back. My niggas, kids, put them on my back. Friend rich as fuck, put them on my back. Care all my niggas on my back. Load the pussy, can't go flat. All right, dope. And after that, we got an API 550. I picked the API because it's got a modern tone, so I cracked open a little bit of the, you know, the top end. And I know the API is the 2520 op amp, the components, you know, the engine in the Hellcat. This type of Hellcat is going to help my mid-range and my vocals. So boost the 3K, boost the 12K, even just just in general, just fucking boost it. Did mad good boosting EQ, clicked on the on for a little bit of saturation. And I just like what it did to the voice, bruh, honestly. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke. I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put them on my back. My niggas, kids, put them on my back. Friend rich as fuck, put them on my back. Care all my niggas on my back. Load the pussy, can't go flat. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke. I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put them on my back. My niggas, kids, put them on my back. Friend rich as fuck, put them on my back. Care all my niggas on my back. Load the pussy, can't go flat. So what's maybe that's I got real smoke. Really dope. The next one is the silk vocal. And this is just really dope, just doing the boosting EQ into the silk vocal just damn near like creates the perfect vocal because you know, you know, you can guarantee yourself that okay, my mid range isn't overbearing, my low end isn't overbearing, my high end isn't overbearing. And so I opened up this plugin first and did the boosting EQ into it. And yeah, I let I kind of just let it guide me like an African zoo uh, tour guide just guiding me, you know, telling me, okay, maybe you're, you're, you're you know, you're pushing out of frequencies that's too hard. And even this plugin can't help you on the back end, you know? I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke. I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put them on my back. My niggas, kids, put them on my back. My friend, which is fuck, put them on my back. My friend, all my niggas on my back. Load the pussy, can't go flat. I got real smoke in my city, it's smoke. I'm in there, kill my sister, it's live hard, yeah, put them on my back. My niggas, kids, put them on my back. My friend, which is fuck, put them on my back. My friend, all my niggas on my back. Load the pussy, can't go Loaded. That nigga said, he, I like that line. I like I like in that whole song free smirk. I just love how he said he putting everybody on his back, and the motherfucker's from Arkansas too, which is like wow, that baffled me. I thought he was from Atlanta when I first heard him, but the the guy's from Arkansas. Like, how could you hate this man? This man made it out of Arkansas, and it's funny because on my channel I always make fun of like every town that's not um California, you know California, New York, Miami, Atlanta. I always say Buckware, nowhere is Arkansasville. Like I've said that in so many videos and I'm like, "Wow. Like this dude made it out of Arkansas. I fucking respect that cuz that's not easy, bro, to make it out of somewhere like Arkansas where I know, you know, shout out to anybody who's from Arkansas who watched me. Uh, comment down below. It can't be easy to make it from there cuz it's not no 
there's not no musical resources like that. You know, most of the musical resources and stuff, which is like the community is in Florida, right? Miami, New York, California, Atlanta. Um, there's other places too. Texas is another one, but like those are the big art and media places in the United States. And if you stay like in North Dakota, it's going to be harder for you to make it as a rapper. Now, the good thing about it for sure is that it's probably less competition, but it's kind of hard to put on for your city. In the beginning, people from your city probably not even going to believe that you could make it because it's just a small city, a small town. You know, it's hard to believe you could be a star. And when I think of Arkansas, I think of uh, Walmart. The guy who made Walmart is from Arkansas, Little Rock, or I think Brentford, Arkansas, or some shit. So that's that's all I know about Arkansas. Um, but dope that YTB Fat is from Arkansas. Shout out to them boys. Uh, basic ass fucking delay, basic ass reverb, which is hall. You know, most of the character of a song like YTB Fat ain't coming from his effects, bro. It's coming from his voice. And then we got the parallel on the Arvox. We will show that. I got real smoke in my city. My and smoke, I mean, that kill my sister. My shit life hard, yeah. Put it in my back. My, my niggas, kids, put it in my back. My friend, which is fuck, put it in my back. My care all my niggas on my back. Makes the vocals feel more solid. Let's look at the ad libs real quick. The silk vocal, you know, just keep the ad libs where they gotta be. And then I use the API 550 to push mid range so the ad libs will cut through. Uh, and then the cut off a lot of 400. After that, we did an REQ to make that motherfucker sit in place like a good boy in school. A delay, basic reverb. Mm, that's pretty much it. Nothing too complicated to talk about. How much you wanna bet if YTB Fats engineer showed it like, the template and the stuff that he be doing. I bet it's the most basic ass shit. Y'all be overthinking this. Man, you know, just fucking rap and do what you love and put passion and, you know, bring the character out of your vocal. And that should be enough to kind of honestly carry you to becoming a better artist if you just work with the tomatoes, onions, and the bell peppers that God gave you, which is your voice. The ingredients is your voice, you know, for you to cook up some success. So I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You want to grab a preset? Well, shit, the link is down below. Do what you want, all right? And suggest more artists down below, okay? And I just appreciate you guys now. Peace.